Hey Gauchos! Welcome to the last episode of UCSB TV for fall quarter. We are your source for information about on-campus events, gaucho sports, and local news. With finals just around the corner, you should take a study break with one of the many great events UCSB has to offer. Let's go to Sreya to find out what's happening this week. Hey everyone, it's Sreya with this week's events. This Friday, November 30th, head over to Campbell Hall to see Princess Nokia discuss her work at 8 p.m. She will be talking about her experiences channeling her culture into her artwork and how she understands intersectional feminism and empowerment. It is sure to be an exciting conversation, so don't miss out. On Saturday, December 1st, UCSB's Middle East Ensemble will be performing in the Lottie Lehman Concert Hall at 7.30 p.m. Enjoy ensemble performances from a wide range of Middle Eastern regions. Seize the opportunity to explore new cultures through music and dance. It's an evening you won't regret. On Sunday, December 2nd, former Secretary of Homeland Security Jay Johnson will be speaking at Campbell Hall. He will discuss issues of immigration, borders, and homeland security, and will be informing the audience on U.S. policies regarding these matters. This talk begins at 3 p.m., so get your tickets now before it's too late. On Tuesday, November 4th, the Kronos Quartet will be performing at UCSB. This group from San Francisco is renowned for their performances that challenge the traditions of string quartet ensembles. They will be performing music from seven banned countries in response to the 2017 travel ban. Head over to Campbell Hall at 8 p.m. for an eye-opening performance you won't soon forget. On Thursday, December 6th, guest lecturer Mandiam V. Srinivasan will be discussing his research on the cognitive abilities of birds and bees and how that applies to the study of machine vision and robotics. This event is completely free and the lecture will start at 4 p.m. in the Psych 1312 room. Go and take this chance to learn something new. Finally, on Thursday, December 6th, head over to Pollock Theatre to see Frankenstein, Flesh for Frankenstein. This cult classic is sure to get you talking as it is delightfully risque. Bliss Kua Lim and Rachel Ball will be leading a post-screening discussion so stick around for that as well. The film starts at 7 p.m., so catch a movie to relieve some stress before finals. That's all for this week, everyone. For more information on any of these events, head over to the UCSB events page. Now let's head to Hannah with the news. Hey, Gauchos. I'm Hannah, the new news anchor for UCSB TV. Let's take a look at this week's news updates. According to the Daily Nexus, the Black Lives Matter co-founder, Patrice Cullors, spoke in Corum Pavilion on November 15th. Over 500 people attended the lecture to hear Cullors discuss the foundation of the Black Lives Matter movement. Cullors talked about her personal experiences from childhood and reflected on the serious topics of racial justice in an approachable manner. She emphasized the importance of community as a support system and encouraged supporting other movements such as the Women's March and hashtag Me Too. For more on this story, you can check out the full article on the Daily Nexus's website. In other news, the bottom line reports that the UCSB Library will be awarding multiple scholarship prizes to students who have used library resources to conduct their research. The Library Award for Undergraduate Research is looking for students to create work that is both academic or creative. This award is open for any undergraduate students at UCSB to apply. The winners will win a cash prize and will have their work published in the Alexandria Digital Research Library. This award hopes to encourage the use of the UCSB Library Services. Submissions for are being accepted from March 1st to March 30th, 2019, and you can email your application to library-award at ucsb.edu. For more information on this great opportunity, you can read the full article on the Bottom Lines website. That's all for this week's news update. Now let's go to Kalisha with sports. Hey Gauchos, it's Kalisha with your weekly sports update. The women's volleyball team beat both Cal State Fullerton and UC Riverside with final scores of 3-0. Our men's basketball team had a three-game winning streak beating Montana State 88-69, Portland State 79-69, and Idaho 66-55. The women's basketball team lost to Loyola Marymount 57-70 at UNLV 51-69, but they did bring home a win against Dartmouth with a final score of 62-56. Coming up in the next few weeks, the men's basketball team takes on Washington, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Rice, 
Nebraska Omaha, Idaho State, and San Francisco. And finally, the women's basketball team goes up against Grand Canyon, Pacific, Cal, California Baptist, San Diego State, and New Mexico State. Head to UCSBGauchos.com for more information on any of these games. Now back to UCLA. That's all for this week's updates. Thanks for tuning in this quarter. We will be returning the first week of winter quarter, so be sure to look out for a new episode then. For more information about that, follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at AS underscore UCSBTV. Good luck on finals, Gauchos, and I hope you all have a wonderful winter break.